This is the second part of the two-part video demo for installing IBM Infosphere Optim Performance Manager and Extended Insight 5.1. In the first demo, we learnt about IBM Infosphere Optim Performance Manager architecture, the installation of the product and the activation of the Infosphere Optim Performance Manager on an AIX machine. In this demo, we will learn about Extended Insight architecture and how to activate this feature install and configure the client to monitor db2 call level interface jdbc and websphere applications in command line mode first let's quickly review the architecture of extended insight the ibm infosphere optim performance manager extended insight feature contains a server component and a client component the Extended Insight server is embedded in the repository server of the Infosphere Optim Performance Manager server and has three subcomponents. They are Extended Insight Controller and the Extended Insight Monitoring Server. The controller and the monitoring server listen on two different ports for all the Extended Insight clients. We will specify these two port numbers when we activate Extended Insight on Infosphere Optim Performance Manager and also when we configure Extended Insight Client later in this demo. Extended Insight Metric Collector The metric collector collects information about the transactions and SQL statements directly from the monitor database, combines the collected data with the data that the monitoring server receives from the Extended Insight clients and stores the data in the repository database. To use Extended Insight, first we must activate the Extended Insight server components by applying a license to the Infosphere Optim Performance Manager server using the Extended Insight Activation Toolkit. The Extended Insight Client component is collocated with the database applications that access the Monitor DB2 database. Depending on the application type, the Extended Insight Client hooks into JCC, .NET or call level interface drivers, intercepts database traffic for the Monitor database and collects response times about transactions and SQL statements. This data is then periodically forwarded to the Extended Insight Monitoring Server which then stores it in the repository database. With Infosphere Optim Performance Manager Extended Insight, we can quickly identify performance issues by monitoring database response time as seen by the application. The Infosphere Optim Performance Manager server and the Extended Insight client can be on the same or different machines depending on where the monitored applications are. In this example, we will install the Extended Insight client on a different AIX machine than the one with Infosphere Optim Performance Manager installed. There are two packages that are needed for Extended Insight. These packages are included in Extended Edition or you can obtain them separately. The License Activation Kit. This is to enable the Extended Insight feature on the Infosphere Optim Performance Manager server. Infosphere Optim Data Tools Runtime Client Software. Depending on the platforms and part numbers for each of these packages, there are different files after we unzip or untar them. In this example, we are showing the contents of these packages for the AIX platform on which we are going to install. Now, let's walk through the installation process of Extended Insight feature. Logged in as root on the AIX machine where Infosphere Optim Performance Manager was earlier installed, we invoke the IOPM server version 5.1 activate on AIX.bin to activate the Extended Insight license. Next, the installer detects and lists the valid copy of Infosphere Optim Performance Manager that is installed on the system. We choose the copy for which we want to activate the Extended Insight feature. Next, we choose option 2 to restart the repository server and move on with the activation. 
Next, we specify two port numbers. The first port is used for communication between the Extended Insight controller and the Extended Insight clients. The second port is for communication between monitoring server and the Extended Insight clients. The default port numbers are 60,000 and 60,001. The specified port number should be available for use and not blocked by a firewall. On the InfoSphere Optim Performance Manager and the Extended Insight Client Systems, the host name and port numbers that are used to establish communication between Extended Insight Client and Server are saved in the pdq.properties file for JDBC applications and in db2dsdriver.cfg for CLI applications. This information on both the server and client must match so that they can communicate successfully. In addition, if we need to change these port numbers, we can go to the web UI to change these values after the activation is completed. Review the activation summary and press enter. Finally, the complete activation panel shows that Extended Insight is activated successfully and shows the log file location for more details if needed. Now that Extended Insight has been successfully activated on the InfoSphere Optim Performance Manager server, let's move on and install the Extended Insight client where the monitor database applications reside. In this example, we install and configure the Extended Insight client on a different AIX machine. There are few prerequisite tasks we must complete before installing and configuring the Extended Insight client. First, the repository server has to be started. Second, if we want to configure monitoring for WebSphere JDBC applications, the WebSphere application server has to be started. The JDBC driver has to be set up in the corresponding WebSphere application server. For details about how to set this up, refer to the URL shown here. Let's walk through the installation of the Extended Insight client using command line mode on an AIX system. From the directory of the installation image, we launch the installation by invoking IBM Data Tools Runtime Client AIX.bin. This client is used for IBM InfoSphere Optim Performance Manager Extended Insight and IBM InfoSphere Optim Configuration Manager products. We proceed through the introduction and the software license agreement. Next, we choose option 1 because this is the first time we install the runtime client. Next, we specify the path where we want to install the product and press enter to continue. Review the pre-installation summary and press enter to start the install. Extended Insight is now successfully installed on the client. We press enter to exit the installer. Next, we need to configure communication settings for the client. We change to the product installation directory containing the configuration script and invoke the CFG tool shell script to set up the configuration. This runtime client configuration tool is used to configure the client software for two different IBM products. In this example, we choose the InfoSphere Optim Performance Manager Extended Insight client. Next, we have the option to select the types of application, including call level interface or ODBC, JDBC and WebSphere application that we want to monitor. In this example, we will select all of the application types. Next, we enter the host name or IP address of InfoSphere Optim Performance Manager and the port numbers with which the client communicates. The first port is for the Extended Insight controller and the second port is for the monitoring server. We already specified these values during activation of Extended Insight in Step 3.
If we don't have the port number handy, then we can obtain it from the pdq.cmx.controller URL parameter in the pdq properties file or from the db2pe serve log file located on the InfoSphere Optim Performance Manager machine. To configure extended insight, for call level interface applications, we must specify the call level interface driver that's being used by the monitored application. The configuration tool attempts to find the driver configuration files that are available on the system. If the configuration file is not available and you have access to a db2ds driver.cfg.sample file, we can specify that file instead and the tool will create the needed file based on that sample file. We select the configuration file and press enter to move on. Next, to configure extended insight for WebSphere applications, we need to provide a profile that contains credentials to connect to the WebSphere application server. This information is required to update the WebSphere JDBC provider so that the WebSphere applications can be monitored. The installer detects the existing profiles and we select the profile that matches our WebSphere installation. The installer will then check status of the server specified in the WebSphere profile. In this example, as security is enabled for our WebSphere application server, we need to enter user ID and password for the WebSphere application server. Next, to collect extended inside data for JDBC applications, we need to specify the JDBC providers that correspond to the database. The class path for the JDBC provider will be updated so that the extended insight can monitor the JDBC applications. In this example, we select the DB2 Universal JDBC driver provider. Next, we could specify the monitor database here and let the configuration tool verify that it has been properly configured. In this example, because we did not yet set up any databases for monitoring after installation of InfoSphere Optim Performance Manager, in part 1 of the demo, we will skip this validation. Finally, we review the configuration information and press enter to continue. The configuration is now completed. For JDBC applications other than WebSphere, ensure that the class path is set accordingly as shown here and the PDQ properties file is copied into the folder of your application. InfoSphere Optum Performance Manager Extended Insight is now installed and configured. You are now ready to configure the Extended Insight monitoring for your database application using the InfoSphere Optum Performance Manager web console. The product includes an extended insight sample program that we could run against a monitor database to validate the configuration and see how the monitoring works. For more information about installation of IBM InfoSphere Optim Performance Manager and extended insight for other deployment types, refer to the red book here. For more information about IBM InfoSphere Optim Performance Manager Extended Edition and version 5.1 product offerings, visit us on the web here.